Satan had already picked out my grave. His plan had moved forward to put me away. I drifted so far, would anyone care that I'd soon be lost? I knew my destruction was a matter of time, but Jesus appeared and said, this one is mine. Now I'm safe from all harm, for he walked through the storm when he came looking for me. Hello, friends. I'm your host, Evangelist Candy Rose. Welcome to Addiction Free. Now, if you've watched last week's show, you'll know that I had Pastor Joshua West on here with his testimony and uh, another one of his uh, staff that is here at uh, Sunrise Adult and Teen Challenge here in uh, Cash, Oklahoma, which is near Lawton, Oklahoma. And now we're going to, uh, you're going to be able to hear from some other people that are here, that are staff, that are graduates. And so, Pastor Joshua, thank you for uh, letting me come here and uh, being able to get these testimonies because every week I bring you the show to show you that Jesus is the answer. Oh, oh yeah, one other thing here in the background is Pastor Joshua West's book. This is uh, Simple Gospel, and uh, this one here is Hard Sayings. And uh, you want to tell them a little bit about that? They're just both books that are very simple books, easy to understand and read. One is simply about the gospel, what it is, what it isn't. Um, and, and basically just draws out the biblical gospel in an easy to understand way. The book Hard Sayings is, is a book that basically talks about what the Bible says Jesus is, not what the culture says and not what we hope he is, so that we can really serve the risen king. Well, thank you, Pastor Joshua. And listen, we're going to be uh, coming back to you at the end and ask you if you'd like to have that new life in Christ. So coming up now is these testimonies. Hi, my name is Philip Brotherson. I'm the Dean of Men here at Sunrise Adult and Teen Challenge. And I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, growing up, I grew up in a, in a good Christian home, but it didn't come without its struggles. You know, we, we, I fell into an early life of, of addiction, started, started uh, drinking at about 9, 10 years old, started messing with other, other drugs at uh, you know, a very young, young age as well, 13, started smoking pot, was, it, was into full-blown addiction by the time I was 16 years old and doing cocaine and uh, methamphetamines and, and anything, anything you could think of, I, I, was, I was doing it. And this life of, of partying and, and drinking and drugging continued on for more, more than 20 years. There were, uh, there were some traumatic things that happened in my life, you know, not, not anyone's personal fault, but, you know, it was uh, at the age of five when I was sexually molested by a person that was trusted to, uh, to, to watch over me that I really think that it changed, changed my mindset. You know, sex to me was like, like smoking a cigarette. You know, it was something that it, it had no value. And so every time I would, ha I would have sex with a woman or something like that, it was just, you know, it was very casual. And it was something that, you know, I was giving my, a piece of myself away. And I, and I, didn't, even, I didn't even realize it. You know, and so I ended up with uh, six DUIs, uh, multiple gun charges, you know, and I was facing 60 years in prison when I came to Teen Challenge. When I, when I arrived at the doors of Teen Challenge, I was a broken and hopeless drug addict. You know, I cried out from, uh, from a prison cell, from a prison cell, and I, uh, you know, God showed me grace here at Teen Challenge. Well, when going through the program here at Teen Challenge, it's a 13-month discipleship program, and I was blessed to be able to break those chains of addiction, break, that, break free from that bondage, and find, find uh, resurrection in Jesus Christ. I was able to, you know, I had to, uh, I was facing 60 years in prison, like I said, and then I ended up having to go to prison for 17 months, and during that time, I was able to, to reach men inside the walls of prison. I was able to actually take the Teen Challenge curriculum and teach it inside prison. And I was also able to, you know, upon release, you know, I was released a year ago, November 2nd, 2018. And it was only through God's will that I was able to come back to Teen Challenge and be appointed as the dean of men here. You know, and I get to, you know, affect change in men's lives every day. We have 60 
up to 60 men here at our program at any one time, and I'm over their discipline and over everything that goes on in their daily lives. So we, you know, we are just so thankful, you know, for the, for the time that we've had. We just thank you for your time. Addictions. Addictions of all types are killing precious people. Overdose of opioids is on the rise. Prescription drugs and alcohol cause families to be torn apart. Everyone suffers, including the children, especially the children. If you or a loved one want help, go to addictionfaithprograms.com to find faith-based resources. There is help. There is hope. Hi, my name is Wesley Burns. I'm 27. I am the media coordinator here at Sunrise Adult Teen Challenge. Um, I graduated the program in 2017 and decided, decided to stay on and become a part of the ministry. Um, before coming to Sunrise, um, I, I spent about 12 years in addiction. Um, my addiction started at an early age, from the age of 14. Um, it started off with marijuana and it eventually progressed pretty fast into meth and alcohol and um, air duster and huffing and literally anything I could get my hands on. Um, I got in a lot of trouble as a teenager and ended up um, being made a ward of the state and bouncing around from boys home to juvenile facility to juvenile facility um, until I aged out at the age of 19 and then I um, progressed heavier and heavier into addiction, was homeless and bounced from house to house to drug house and um, eventually, I met the love of my life, um, Lindsay, and we had a kid together, and I thought that that's what was going to bring stability and purpose to my life, and in many ways it did, um, but I ended up continuing in addiction and, until one night I had an altercation with poli the police, and I woke up in, in jail, um, and my charges were being read to me um, as I came into coherence, and the charges were read, uh, assault and battery on a police officer and shooting with intent to kill. And I thought at that moment, this was, this was um, just two weeks before my son was supposed to be born, actually. And I, I thought that, um, that I'd already failed him, that I, that I was never even going to get to meet him, that I was looking at a lot of time. And that's when I hit my knees and I, and I prayed to God and I, and I cried out to him for really the first time that was genuine. Um, the Lord ended up deliver me from a prison sentence, I ended up getting out and, and was given probation and was shown mercy, and although I had made a lot of these promises to live for God and, and, and those sort of things in jail, I got out and I couldn't deal the shame. Um, I had I'd been on the news and, and, and all this other things where these charges had been um, kind of broadcasted about me, and so because of the guilt and, and because of this feeling of, of letting down my, my um, fiance and and my son, I um, propelled into serious heroin addiction. And with that, I, I got my, my wife doing heroin too. And I, I ended up watching her actually overdose and turn blue in front of my one-year-old son at the time. And I remember just the panic and, and the feeling of, of desperation. It was, it was worse than even I had had that feeling in jail of watching my son watch his mom die, and even though he was only a year old, he could tell something was wrong, and he was screaming and crying, and um, that was another moment I really reached out, and, and I knew that something had to change, and so shortly after that, I came to Sunrise Adult and Teen Challenge, not knowing what was going to happen, if, if God was even really real, or, or what was going to go on, and, and through a long process of 13 months, and a lot of failures here, too, and a lot of um, falling shorts here, and just the, the patience that they, they've had with me. Uh, God got a hold of my life in, in, a, in a drastic way. And, and now I, I'm married to, to Lindsay, and we live here on the campus. And tomorrow I'm actually getting my license to become an Assemblies of God minister. And for the first time in my life, I have actual purpose and actual peace and, and true happiness. And it's, it's because of the gospel. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. 
He anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He sent me to heal the brokenhearted and preach deliverance to the captives. Hallelujah. I'm fighting the same demons that my father had. Except I'm busting with the Holy Ghost automatic. Covered by the grace of my holy dad. He using me a little ghetto boy. Imagine that. I'm from a small hood. Some call it Harrisburg. It's right off Broadway. OG's called it 83rd. It's home of the serve. And DJ screw you heard. See, God and took me from the streets and planted me in words. Yeah, yeah. I'm kicking their doors. I'm off in their face. Ay, ay, ay. I'm coming with love. I'm covered in grace. Hold up. Hold up. He loving you, man. Your sin is erased. Tell him again, man. He loving you, dog. Your sin is erased. Never again be held up in sin. He wash it out clean. You free to go in. Yeah. Just follow the speed and straight replay. I read to the end and say that we win. I read to the end and say that we win. You have been equipped with Ephesians 6. You are ready for battle from head to toe. I'm letting you know to hit the front line. Your tongue will be a fiery whip in the pits of hell. You have been sealed with the blood of the Lamb. You have been clothed with the royal robe of righteousness. You have been called to a higher calling. You are meant to dwell within the secret place of the Most High. Walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Parole violation, I done murdered the flesh. Taking shots to the chest, bulletproof vests. Ready for the warfare, unite to take the souls back. Fifth War Renegade, train to go. Get your handcuffs out, I done murdered the flow. Say you heard it before, Billy Boy, you mistaken. I reach in the streets, all gas, no breaking. I can see the seraphim, the veil is torn. Redeem of the Lord, we done been reborn. My boy Vega hit me up, said, Doug, we gotta reach him. If we don't catch him early, them cells is gonna teach him. I agree, 100, you ain't got to ask. Only what you do for Christ gon' last. Holla at me, taking back the street without a gun or mask. I'm talking quick, fast, spiritual whiplash. I'm... I am grateful to serve beside you. It is you that is written about in the ancient days and the ancient text. The prophets dreamed and had visions about you. Welcome to the gathering of the saints and the elect. Can't you see the chariots of God's army around you? Can't you see the pillars of fire that go out before you? It is you who has been chosen. Put a step up on the battlefield, man, I'm fully equipped. Taking back the left flank. Yeah, that's my soul's mission. I'm coming for the POWs in the MIAs. I use my sword to break every chain and free all the slaves. And as the war rages, the enemy starts to flee in fear of the crazy Scottish that be lurking deep inside of me. I'm here to bring liberation, no hesitation, the full invasion. Hear the sounds of the shofar of revelations. We bum rushing the gates of hell, we going in for his. And taking our souls back, show you this kingdom biz. And with my father that guides me, and all this army behind me, you better duck. And run for cover, let's be that missionary minded Going in for the lost and the blind And take it back to what belongs to the king We marching forward, dress for war And let us be fatigued And when they see us stepping in They scatter like some roaches They won't even approach us Cause we them Jesus soldiers the Last time I checked The tribe of Judah lives inside of you It is time that you stand on your feet And let your lion roar You have been called to lay hands on the sick When you walk in the room You are the light and demons flee you will cast them back down to the pits of hell. You will bind them and gag them. You will choke them out, throw them back to the feet of righteousness, because every knee will bow. Hello, my name is Marco Trevino. I am 38 years old. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I am a graduate and an intern at Sunrise Adult and Teen Challenge. I was born into a life of addiction and death and chaos, and... Um, as a young child was subjected to extremely traumatic environments where I would eventually develop PTSD in which I've suffered from my entire life. Um, I was four years old the first time I had witnessed a person murdered and uh, my mother was a drug addict, a drug dealer, a meth cook. There was always very dangerous people around. Um, I'd witnessed my mother overdosing several times, being brutally beaten by my stepfather and my stepfather was the one who would molested me and a little while after that would molest my two little sisters. And um, about the age of 14 or 15 is where I just so much fear and hurt had just built up into this anger and which I would have eventually become a byproduct of my environment and become hurtful towards others. And which would end up leading me far off and deep into addiction with 
alcohol, meth, and um, some marijuana, but the, the alcohol and the meth were the main things. And I would have, and it was in 2003 in a jail cell where I'd came to believe that Jesus Christ was my Lord and Savior. And after that, it was still a struggle. It was, it's been a long process to come to this point in life. And um, I was a believer, and, and, but I wasn't necessarily a follower of Christ. I had never become a true disciple. And after, many years later on, when my, I have a dear friend who is Joshua Pastor West, who's been my friend for about 23, 24 years or so, he told me something when I first got to the program. He said, the truth is like a scalpel. It can cut somebody to pieces, but in the hands of a loving surgeon, it can bring healing. And um, I knew that's what I needed um, was the truth, the truth of God. I was in an identity crisis, not seeing myself the way that God saw me. And so I, de- I dived very deeply into God's word in my time here at the ranch. And um, that's what brought healing. It was that truth that had cut away the cancer and began to bring healing. And now that I'm graduated, I'm still interning here. Now um, all the hurt from the past has been tr- used as a message of hope for many other men now and also many others out there. And um, it's really what it is. All, all grace unto me must result in all glory unto God, and that's what happens now. All that hurt. Uh, Psalms 30, uh, 34, 18 says that God is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. And I've always been broken, but now I know how to use it to the glory of God. And that's all. My name is Ryan Strouth. I am the intake coordinator here at Sunrise Adult and Teen Challenge. I showed up here uh, two and a half years ago, uh, May of 2017, um, broken and and desperate and hopeless um, in the depths of heroin and opiate addiction. Um, I grew up in a single parent home. Um, I had a hardworking mother, you know, loving grandparents. Um, I never had a father there, you know, to, to discipline me at a young age. Uh, my relationship with him was built off uh, materialistic things in life, um, seeing him uh, in the summers and on the holidays. Uh, so growing up, um, you know, I had a hardworking mother. I grew up playing sports. So at an early age, I uh, found my identity in playing sports, um, and that kept me, you know, um, and I had a coach in my life that was, you know, helping me get through the best that I could. Uh, got through high school, um, the senior year of my high school, um, I quit playing basketball. I uh, broke up with the girl that I'd been dating, and then also I had a little girl coming out right out of high school. So I uh, immediately started running from responsibility then, um, and just kind of went through the whole process with her, the same that my dad went through with me. Um, throwing money at the situation and uh, not taking care of my responsibilities. Um, so in the depths of my heroin addiction run from responsibility, um, I was on the verge of suicide before I came here. Um, and God found me uh, in the mental hospital and made a way for me to Sunrise Adult and Teen Challenge. Since I've been here, um, I've been set, three, set free through the power of Jesus Christ um, and I'm learning how to walk and, and live in his humility and in his grace um, that he has given me. Um, and also um, becoming the intake coordinator, um, I made the, the decision, you know, not only has this program given me life, um, but to able to be able to give life to others, you know, and share with them where I found the, the love and the peace of, of Christ. Um, and the only thing that um, has fulfilled my life and give me um, sustenance and that is why I choose to do what I do now so my encouragement to you today is uh, to know that there is hope and um, whenever you are desperate and the Lord hears your cries he will answer your prayers and uh, thank you for your time well friends once again you've heard some wonderful testimonies and that's why now at the end of the show after you've always heard the devastation but then the restoration is why I always ask you then if you would like to have that new life in Christ. Now, the Bible says if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, you shall be saved. But the Bible also says to confess and forsake. There's a repentance. I didn't know what the word repentance means when I got saved. But now that I've read the Bible, it means to be turned. Of course, the Lord was showing me I needed to turn. I was a former stripper and a prostitute and had a stripping business. And he was telling me I couldn't hang on to that and hang on my old life. But you know what? When you be willing to let it go, that's when you have that new life 
and that beautiful relationship with Christ. And I've asked Pastor Joshua to agree with me in prayer that you're going to have that new life too. And so if you'll confess with your mouth and be willing to turn from your old lifestyle, that's when you're going to have that new life. So Pastor Joshua, could I have your hand? And let's just agree that our viewers are going to give their life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Just say this. Say, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you, Lord, that I am now going to surrender and give you my whole life. I'm willing to leave it all behind and follow you, Jesus. Thank you for loving me, and I love you too, Jesus. Amen. Now, you got any last minute things you'd like to tell on Pastor Joshua? Just remember this. I know that when I used to hear presentations like this when I was in sin, I always thought maybe I was too far removed or I was too dirty or I had made too many mistakes. But Jesus doesn't just save you from your sins. He makes you a new person. And God wants you to be his son or his daughter. Before I hand it back to Candy, remember in your new life, you're going to fall. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to struggle. But the, the, the goal is to keep pressing towards the mark, knowing that our Father loves us and forgives us when we sin. All right. Well, thank you, Pastor Joshua. And I want to remind the folks of my theme scripture, Psalms 107.2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. He's redeemed you. Now you go share your testimony. Addiction Free Ministry presents powerful resources written by its CEO, Candy Rose. Her autobiography, Spirits of Seduction, proves Christ can transform any lifestyle from X-rated to G-rated. Candy Rose believes testimonies build faith, encouraging others they too can have that new life in Christ. Go to Amazon.com or their website, AddictionFreeMinistry.com, to receive these life-changing resources for yourself or a loved one. There is help. There is hope. Greetings in Jesus' name. Teen Challenge Women's Ministries has now changed its name to Adult and Teen Challenge of the Greater South. Why? Well, first of all, we're no longer just women. We have a men's center in Russellville, Arkansas. And of the Greater South, we've opened our fifth state. We are a faith-based recovery program. But first, it starts with a conversation. You reaching out. The only requirement to get in, absolute requirement to get in, is a desire to change. Hello, I'm Gary Jennings, founder of the Ark of Praise Church and the Father's House. Uh, Father's House program is a residential home for men and women struggling with life controller problems. We call our program a Christian discipleship program. We're very uh, much about Jesus Christ, and we feel like he is the solution to helping people heal their hearts and change their lives and restore their families. Hi friends, this is Candy Rose, TV host of Addiction Free. My church, the Ark of Praise, and I would like to introduce our pastor, Gary Jennings. Him and his wife, Danette, are the founders of a recovery home, the Father's House. And we'd like to present his CD, You Chose to Be My Friend. And his friend, Jill Crabb, produced the CD using his songs. And all proceeds will go to the Father's House. To receive your copy, go to thearcofpraise.org. This is Pastor Tim and my lovely wife, Leslie. Uh, we pastor New Life Church, but we also run Project New Start Recovery Homes. Uh, these are homes designed to help men and women overcome addiction, bondages. We deal with any type of bondage that there is. We've been doing this for 20 years. God has just uh, literally changed lives through faith in Jesus Christ. Give us a call at 870-523-8413. God bless. I'm Richie and Carly Willis, and we just want to tell you we both were in major addictions in Hot Springs, Arkansas. We both come out of major, major drugs and major, major addictions. We just want to tell you that today we have men's homes in Hot Springs called Solomon's Porch. There's three homes for men. Uh, we have our own church today, 411 Highland Street, called Highland Street Revival. We have a roofing company today called Willis and Son Roofing. We have crews working for us and people in the office, and we're just thankful. I'm Lisa Haynes, 
Clinical Director for Shalom Recovery Centers. Shalom Recovery Centers is a nine-month Christ-centered program. We provide services for both men and women, and we seek to serve those looking for help with life-controlling issues and addiction. The Harbor Home is really a house of miracles. It is located in a small church in central Arkansas, in Conway, Arkansas, and it's a faith-based program anywhere from six months to one year uh, residential for women coming out of drug and alcohol addiction. We have women of all ages that come to the Harbor Home and from all over the United States. And it really is a place where people can come, get down to the real root cause of the issue. Our first six months is a time of healing, a time of reflection, and really an opportunity for you to come to realize your value and your worth. And uh, really to develop and cultivate a real relationship with Jesus Christ, which we believe is the answer for all addictive behaviors. The addiction epidemic is destroying lives worldwide, but there is a solution. There is hope for you or a loved one. Evangelist Candy Rose travels nationwide with her camera equipment, filming in churches and recovery homes. She interviews those who testify of the former devastation, but restoration from a commitment to Christ. Candy Rose is a former stripper and prostitute who once owned a strip business and knows firsthand that Jesus is the answer. Here are ways you can experience hope by watching her weekly television show, Addiction Free, that broadcasts on TV networks to millions, by listening to testimonies on her podcast, Addiction Free, by reading testimonies including hers and all the five books she's authored, by hearing her personal testimony as she preaches the Word of God in churches and events. To find these resources of hope, go to www.addictionfreetv.com. My name is David Perup. My wife and I are founders of Chrissy's House in BB, 310 South Main, where everyone is welcome. We believe that Jesus is the cure for our addiction. Uh, he has delivered us and set us free. Won't you come on by sometime and visit Thursday nights from uh, 6 to 8, and we'd be glad to uh, welcome you just like family. I promise you when you come, we'll treat you so many ways, you'll bound to like one of them. God bless you. Hello, my name's Mark Duncan with Butterfly Ranch Women's Center. This is my wife, Jessica. We're the founders. We're an 18-bed facility. It's a faith-based program that helps women overcome addiction. Uh, we're located in Swifton, Arkansas. And the ladies that come uh, to our program can graduate after spending 10 months. And while you're here, our goal is to make sure you're introduced into a strong relationship with Jesus Christ. And I just want to let you know that if you're from out of state, you're still welcome to come to our facility. Thank you. I need to hear somebody testify. I need to hear somebody say yeah, that you were lost and at the bottom and you could not find your way. Just when life had lost all meaning And you wish that you could die Jesus came to you that day You invited him to stay I need to hear somebody testify If you confess with your mouth that he is Lord and believe with all your heart that he was raised. God made a promise. You can take him out.